an angle. So today what we're going to do is we're going to reinstall a uh, front tire on the front of this truck real quick and then we're going to uh, show the process for letting your spare down and putting your spare back up when you're done with it. If uh, you want to just jump straight to that, if that's what you're here for, it starts about six and a half minutes in roughly. Thank you all for watching. And new tire here. It's a factory takeoff that I bought online. That is exactly the same tire that's on the truck and it's worn just a little bit less than the rest of the tire. Those 130 foot pounds on the lug nuts. Drove this on some very salty roads, and I want to take some steps to avoid the rusting of this rim and the rusting of the bed of my truck. Okay, for those of you that do not know, the spare tire in your Gladiator is stored underneath the bed. It has a crank system that lowers it. Um, so I'll show you all how that works. And then I'm going to show you how I want to lubricate that crank system. Since first thing you want to notice is back here underneath your tailgate. <clears throat> you have this hole with a rubber grommet in it. Back in there, you can see where you put your uh, jack handle to lower the spare on its crank assembly. So... Let me get this slit in here, and uh, I'll show you how it works. How you, so this is how you need to configure your rod uh, so that it will connect with the spare tire crank assembly. The part that goes into the crank is this big female end here. This is the view underneath the bed of the truck with the spare tire not stowed. So, <clears throat> once you have inserted your crank rod, or your jack rod, into that gray housing where the mechanism, you will then turn this counterclockwise to drop the spare tire from the vehicle. Now, with no tire on that, you have to use both hands your spare tire is not mounted to apply weight to the retainer and turn the rod so that it will drop Alright, 
anyone who has ever used one of these on an older vehicle understands that those rust up really bad and you end up having to cut this piece of the cable off with a grinder to get your spare tire out on the side of the road which is no fun so i'm going to take some steps to mitigate that and and uh, we're going to spray some wd-40 back into that assembly to try to keep it lubricated um it may not do anything or it might really truly help us out one day 10 years down the road uh <clears throat> in the process of doing that we're gonna go ahead and wipe salt off of this whole area up here because this is hard to wash with the spare tire installed and we're going to coat everything back here underneath the bed with a film of wd-40 it will eventually weather away but it will provide protection for a short amount of time so let me go get the can wd-40 and uh, we'll lube this mechanism up okay <clears throat> once you get your wd-40 i'm going to simply just Fill it up so there's plenty in there and let it run down that cable too because that cable's going to get you winded up in there. Coat this whole thing down. I'm going to go ahead and spray some WD-40 on everything down here. Just coat it with a film. It might help, it might not. It's definitely not going to hurt anything. Uh, I've most definitely avoided getting any exhaust systems. Obviously, these exhaust skips. Damn. All right. I'll roll, roll my spare tire up underneath here, and I'll show you how to work this mechanism. It's very sh simple. What actually attaches the tire. Okay. Now that I have the spare tire in position, <clears throat> once you let this tire down, it's factory configuration. Um, this bar that's used to retain the rim, tire, and wheel will be like that so what you'll have to do is make sure you have enough slack run down in your cable you can reach in there turn this bar at an angle so that it will come through the center hub of that wheel and then everything pulls out just like so lay that over the side now you can take your spare wheel and put it on your vehicle then whenever it comes time to put your spare back up in your vehicle like I am today, you drop everything down through the center, including this crossbar, you turn it sideways and you pull it up just like that. Then, um, make sure you lube your crank again, doing it again. All right. Then you're going to come out here. Oh, also one other thing. So I don't remember the position in which the wheel was uh, when I dropped it down the other day. Uh, it looks like it'll work both ways. I'm going to put it this way. That way the deeper dish of the wheel, due to how the backspacing is, is down. It will hold a significant amount less mud up against the bed that way. So once you get that all together and ready to go, you come back out and you're going to crank it up into position. Pull your spare tire back up into the storage position. You gotta turn this crank clockwise. snug just give it a little bit don't get too crazy with it or you will um, wind up breaking that thing because they are fragile okay our crossbar is good and secure our rim has no wiggle to it so we don't have to worry about that falling out looks to be good and stored now let's uh let's put our tools back in their factory storage position once we get that done, y'all have a good one, and thank you for watching. So your jack is stored here underneath the back seat. 
it has a little stud that it slides onto on that side and then you tighten this fastener up on this side to stow it properly and then your jack handle kit lays in here above it and it's secured with these velcro straps So, nice and neat and ready for the next time.